If I want all of my objects on a page to move along a path, just like I've got planet Earth here, it's moving along the yellow ellipse, but here I've got Mercury, it's freely floating. I need to make sure that this planet is set to restrict along the path. To do that, I simply do a single click on the uh, whatever object I would like to make it restrict along the path, go to my object edit menu, and open up the property browser. From within the property browser, all I need to do is come down to restrictors. And where it says can move, you need to change it from can move freely to along path. And right below there, there are the three little dots. You click on those, and this is where you would select what image you want. Shape one is my yellow ellipse. I'm going to say OK, and I'm finished. I close this out, come back down to my page here, and now Mercury has to be moved along the path. Now, this yellow ellipse, maybe I don't want it to show, so I can simply click on it and come over to my sun dial and make the transparency almost invisible there. And so now it looks like I've got Mercury and planet Earth floating around on the page nicely. Now, if I go to my next page as a different example, here I've got my lines already created, and I'm going to have the dog float down to where it says dog and uh, for a student maybe I give him a hint okay so I've got my dog barking as well next to the label I simply need to click on the dog go to my object edit menu property browser come down to my um, restrictors here and where it says can move, change it from freely to a long path. And then again, I'm going to pick my path. Now if you'll notice, my lines all have different colors. I did that on purpose. I want to be able to identify the magenta line to go with the dog, the red line to go with the pig, and the green line to go with the log. So I would select here and find the magenta line, which happens to be shape 4, and you can see in the window it will give you your other options. But shape 4 is the magenta line and I say OK and I am finished. So I can come over here and test it out. Now my dog can only move along this pink line. And to get rid of the pink line again I simply click on the pink line I just drew and I'm going to make it transparent. So what happens then is you end up having the, the correct answer being the only way for students to move an object around, which will save them from embarrassment and students can't get the incorrect answer.